once people arrive at the zoo, what is it going to look like and how many people will you allow in the zoo per day and at a time? Well, our goal is to make the guest experience here just the same as it was before COVID. What we're going to try and do is encourage them to buy their tickets online on a mobile device so they don't actually have to go to a register to get their tickets. They plan on allowing 200 guests in per hour and 1,000 guests per day. A new feature that may take some getting used to is purchasing timed entry tickets. So if you want to come to the park at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday, for instance, you can go online, you can reserve a time block entry, and that way only a certain number of people will be coming to the park at any one time. We're heading into the zoo, and of course, the gift shop, most people exit at the gift shop, but you're gonna tell us where the new exit will be. Right, we're gonna modify the way the people, the guests exit our park. So to make everything safe, we're going to bring the merchandise out into this uh, outdoor portico here. Once you make your purchase, you can exit back through the uh, entry where you came into the park without having to go into any kind of confined spaces. Some buildings will be off limits like the Children's Discovery Center, Snake Exhibit, and Children's Play Area. One exhibit that will be open is their brand new Australian Adventures exhibit. One of the things we're going to do to help keep the guests safe in the park is we've instituted a, a one-way walking pattern. And so all throughout our pathways, we have installed uh, arrows, which will give everyone an idea that this is the only way you can walk. When guests come to the park, will they have to wear masks? Uh, in order to make sure that the animals, the staff, and our guests can be as healthy as possible, we are going to require that masks be worn both by our staff and our guests when they come here at the park. So when will the zoo reopen? Oh, unfortunately, Living Desert is lumped in stage three of the governor's plan, which is the same uh, stage as large musical festivals like Coachella. Uh, you know, if you've been to Living Desert in the summer, you know that we're lucky to get a few hundred people here in the summer. So we're hoping that the county can look for a variance that will enable us to open up sooner. Until a green light from the county, no reopen date has been set. In Palm Desert, Caitlin Thropay, News Channel 3.